So here's how we work our Socratic seminars. The expectations are that students will all participate and they'll do three things, use evidence, ask questions, and draw connections. The way it's set up is that there's going to be a middle table. Each speaker will have two co-pilots that are seated behind them. Co-pilots will listen and they will coach the, the pilot who is sitting in the center circle. A back channel will also be provided. This is an example of how the room will be set up. A table will be in the middle. The pilots will be sitting around the center table. Behind each person will be two, two students, their co-pilots. The middle circle will be the speakers. The co-pilots will be the listeners. During certain parts of the conversation, I'll say stop and talk to your co-pilots. Well, the pilots will have an opportunity to turn around and find areas that they need to improve on. They might be able to help them ask a question or provide evidence, but they can help them know where to join in on the conversation and offer that moral support and coaching. The co-pilots will then rotate and the co-pilot will move to pilot, the pilot will move back to co-pilot, and we will rotate in these small groups of threes in order to allow everyone an opportunity to be in the middle circle. We'll have a back channel the back channel is going to be run through today's meet. The expectations of this would be that students use their real name. Students can only back channel from the outer circle and the students can use evidence, ask questions and draw connections through this back channel. Students will be encouraged to use their devices or phones if this is a way they wish to communicate during the Socratic seminar. The question we'll be discussing for our Socratic seminar for quarter one is how do we learn from life around us and the lives around us?